I started working the mill summers when I was eight years old, you know, just bundling, kindling for, for the wood stoves and so forth. And, uh, and my children, Alden and his brother and sister, they started working the mill at a very young age. And, and now uh, very young. two of my grandchildren are starting to work this summer in the Christmas trees, and one's 10 and one's 12. From the time I was old enough to walk, all I ever wanted to do was work in the mill. I love working with wood. My father loved working with wood. I saw that it was in my family for a long time, part of my family, and it's something that I've always been exposed to and have wanted to do. You know how much everyone in my family liked the mill. Once you're in the mill business, you're always in the mill business. You get sawdust in your blood. That's what you want in a family business, is for everyone to stay involved. And I feel like we have that. When the family's involved, you're kind of looking out for more than just yourself. I remember when I was young and my father was building the first sawmill, he was working more than 100 hours a week and built the, built the whole building himself. And so he was out there at night. Before he started the building, he set a pole and put a mercury vapor light on top of that and was working by, by the light from that. So a lot of sacrifice. Been sorry ever since. I think my father wanted to build this business and, you know, was driven to work hard because that's the way he was raised. I think that was natural for him to, to teach me and to expect me to work hard for what I have. Being a family-run business gives you a little more drive to keep it going and to, to, to make it work. I couldn't do it without him. It's all in. You're either in the mill business or you're not. Dad always told me coming into the business, he was, the great thing about this business is the people. We're blessed to be able to get along in this family. And, you know, it's rather unique, I would think, that all three of us are here. We're going to continue to grow Pine for future generations. We're the fifth generation. Dad was the fourth, and the sixth has started working. Um, they're still young, and we hope they want to go into the business. They may not choose to, but we want to make sure that there's great lumber for them to harvest and that we leave the mill stronger for them. And Dad and my uncle did a great job building upon his father's and his father's foundation and we'll want to continue to do the same. This is the fifth generation. I sincerely hope that 100 years from now that they're on the 10th generation. We tend to see it go that way. The history of our family in this business goes back uh, four generations. Uh, to my grandfather on my mother's side, he was a logger. My dad was a logger. You run your business the way you run your family and uh, or the way you participate as a member in the family. It's not all about you. Uh, it's about your family members. You have to want to be here. The lumber business in Maine is comprised of family operations. They're generational most of them. There's a certain element of pride that exists because it's a piece of you, it's a piece of your life, it's a piece of your identity. I like the fact to be able to say I think I've got sawdust in my veins. Production is a tough, tough industry and if we can use technology that's out there today to get a little more wood through the mill, it allows us to you know, survive. There's times where you have to make decisions that aren't always easy in this business. You've got your way of doing things, your way of seeing things, your way of working with people, but you have to pass that torch and place confidence in that next generation that they will do it their way. It might not look the way you did it, but the outcome will be as good or better. I would love to see one of my children sitting around the table with us doing this. We're not going to force any of our kids to come here. If there has to be an interest, if there's no interest, then this business will end after this generation. We're managing this land from so 10th because we want them to have trees to come. And I just hope that 100 years from the day, the public is smart enough to keep buying natural wood, locally made. And when you go into business for yourself, there's not that security. A lot of times you have to put you know, everything that you have on the line. It's a big risk. 
Today, there are so many people who don't want us to cut trees because they think we're destroying the forest. And nothing could be further from the truth. We have the best story and it just needs to be told. Thank you.